I have to make a decision. I don't think I could. Hey, peeps! God, it's Friday. Friday! Wednesday was a mess. Mm. Got up at 5 a.m., was supposed to have my husband at the hospital by 7, he was supposed to go into surgery at 9, we thought he'll be out and in recovery by 2.30, I'll have my hair and makeup ready, I'll go to Houston, walk in the runway Houston fashion show for Jonathan Blake, the designer, no. <laughs> Nothing went according to plan on Wednesday. They didn't even get Lamar in. They didn't even take him back to the surgery until 10.30. I think they said it, the surgery started at 11.11. 11. Mm. He didn't come out of surgery till the doctor called me at 6.15 that night. So I was a basket case all afternoon. 2.30 came by, 3.30 came by, 4.30 came by. My driver shows up at five. I contact my designer and I'm like, I have to make a decision. I don't think I can walk in your fashion show because my husband is still in surgery and I'm a basket case. Because by now he's been in surgery like five, six hours. Mm -hmm. They thought it was gonna be like a four hour surgery. So, there, you know, originally I thought, oh, if he comes out of surgery at 2, 2.30, I'm going to be like, okay, he made it through surgery, everything's good, he's in recovery, he's going to his room, he'll be sleeping, I can go do my thing, walk in the show. Five o'clock, I'm like, there's no way I can put my butt in that car and know that my husband's still in surgery. Mm -hmm. Like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So they finally, the doctor finally calls me at 6.15 and said he just finished and I said I'm on my way and, you know, got to the hospital that night. But, um, so nothing went according to plan really Wednesday mm -hmm. and yesterday was the same. <laughs> so Fab was supposed to go to the fashion show mm -hmm. and sit in the audience and film for me <laughs> because he wanted to, oh, we wanted to film me walking in the fashion show plus, you know, pick up on some of the fashion show. So he went ahead and went <laughs> <laughs> and captured all of this for you guys to see so that we could present with you some Fashion Friday fun. Mm -hmm. So let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I got to see a little glimpse of it myself. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Thank you, Fab. Yes. <laughs>
I was on the on the scene. <laughs> so I said, "Here, here's the two tickets. Film, have fun. Drinks are on me. Yes. Have, a, have a fun night." <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, wait, am I working? Uh, <laughs> no, you re weren't really working. <laughs> you were just having fun. I was like, I know I need to get my expense. <laughs> <laughs> the perks of the job. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah. So thank you, Fab, for capturing all of that. I hope you had a good time. And um, so now the remodel is still continuing. So I'm trying to juggle this remodel that's going on with all these people in the house. I am trying to pack up all of those packages. <laughs> the sales continue. I think we're out of candles now. Oh I think everything's gosh. out of stock and I'm still packing boxes guys so bear with me. I'm packing as fast as I can pack through all of everything that's going on so just be patient with me but orders are going out. We just took another SUV load down um, and I think if I pack some more tonight and tomorrow, I'll have everything done and hopefully the last of the orders will go out tomorrow. <laughs> wow. So the generator people will be here in the morning. They will shut the power off to the house for the next two to three hours. They will be hooking up the big monster generator tomorrow morning. So we will be without power for two or three hours, which I can pack boxes without electricity. It will be daylight, no big deal. So hopefully by the time lunchtime rolls around and I'm ready to head to the post office, with the last of the orders yes so let's pop down and see what's going on here at the ranch and the remodel okay <laughs> i think we're almost out of candles <laughs> oh, okay this is round trip number three and i still have a crap load more in there that i'm packing up so you guys you guys came out you're not playing. Uh-uh. <laughs> they say we want candles now. <laughs> oh. Very white. It's very white. It's turning very white, yes. Very white. It's going to be so incredibly beautiful once we take all this ugly paper off the floor. I forgot how the floor looked. The floor is beautiful, <laughs> you know. But that's why once all the strip lighting's put on, mm -hmm. all the duct lights and everything, it's oh. just going to be like blinding, mm. blinding, blinding. Are these done fully? Yes. Yeah. Well, they've got one coat of paint on. Mm -hmm. They're covered right now because these guys are making dust. Mm -hmm. And they don't want dust on them when they go to put the second coat of paint on. Got so it. they've got them covered for now so that as the electricians are making the dust. All right. 
Well, supposedly this is the last trash can <laughs> ever. Highly doubt it, but hey, let's let's think positive here. Uh, I just think it's already part of the house now. Like this is just know, a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! I'm hoping, like, we've got to tear this rock wall out, which that's going to go in the dumpster. So, I'm hoping the end of May, mm. right before the film crew gets here from the UK, uh -huh. which is supposed to be the first week in June, I'm hoping that the final dumpster is hauled away the last week of May, so it's not on my property. Uh -huh. Drop that can. <laughs> Drop that can. Ooh. <laughs> Whoever oh. invented the dumpster was very smart. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the truck. Yeah, the for truck. real. Yeah. Nobody's even in here. Okay. So. All three chandeliers are hung. This one's not even wrapped in plastic. Skinny man. Skinny man. We're gonna have to wrap that before they spray. So anyways, all three chandeliers are hung in their spots and they are gonna get ready to spray the second coat of paint. <laughs> It's gonna be so pretty with all three of them looking down here. Now they're all three in a row. Yes. Yeah, get that damn post out of the way. But anyways, all three are in a row. All three are hanging above a pod. There's equal distance between them all. Yay! Oh my god. Can you believe we're about ready to move in? You can believe it. Next Wednesday, if they get this second coat put on today, I'm ready. <laughs> I still, yeah, I still have yet to move all my stuff into the bathroom because <laughs> yeah. I can't get into the drawers yet. They've got the drawers in, uh -huh. but there's no fronts on the drawers, mm. so I can't open them. I don't have anything to grab. <laughs> right. It's like it's okay if I just have the fronts without hardware. Yeah. Because the hardware isn't here yet. Mm -hmm. But if I just at least had the fronts on, I could grab a hold of the front and pull it open without the hardware. Yeah. But still don't, still don't have the fronts. <laughs> so I'm hoping next week I get fronts so that I can start moving my stuff into the bathroom too. Yeah. And as you know, things don't always go according to plan. Mirrors were supposed to get hung today. Mm. All the mirrors in the bathroom, all those big mirrors, mm -hmm. the big mirror in the closet, the big, I mean like mirrors everywhere, right? The kid decided he should just call in this morning and take a day off. <laughs> it wasn't a planned day off and he wasn't even sick. He just called in one day, day off. Oh. So, yeah. So hopefully next week? So Monday. Awesome. We're, we're on the books for Monday. Awesome. So hopefully you guys will get to see on Monday them hanging all the big mirrors because they're some big old mirrors. Ooh, that's so going to be big. That's going to be a big day. Monday's going to be a really big day. But that'll really make the bathroom look more finished. Then, of course, the hardware's going to come in. Okay. And then we're going to hopefully be moving. They're going to do strip lights in here with all the, the puck lighting also. Uh -huh. um, Monday and Tuesday. So we're going to capture that. And then we're going to be moving clothes and stuff in here. Are you ready? I'm ready. I am so ready. I want to see my purses. Yes. I want to see my jewelry. <laughs> we need to go pick up all that stuff. Right. Yes. Probably going to need a U-Haul that day. Now I've got to start planting the garden. Ooh. Because i got to put a garden out here. Do you have an idea of what you're going to do? Of course. Ooh. Big hedge all the way around. Roses, a fountain, little benches. Yes. It's going to be pretty. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, feels good out here too. Feels great out here. Okay, let's go see what has happened with the beam and see if they're about ready to take down all that stupid plastic. <laughs> they can't take down that one fake wall yet because next week they have to make the two openings uh -huh. for the two windows that are in the dining room to get put up with that third gotcha. window. So while the bracing is there, they need to make those openings and then all that fake wall will 
come down and Wednesday they start laying tile also. So that's going to be interesting how they're going to lay tile and I'm going to bring everything into the closet at the same time. Oh. Mm. We're going to be walking through right here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just have them do most of that Other area. Side? We'll start, oh. I'll have them start at the other end and come towards the bedroom, mm -hmm. but leave that spot open. Yeah. Till we can get everything through there on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, we were just leaving the closet. Where did she go? Oh, oh, oh. There you are. Wet air. Yes. Yes. It's not done, <sighs> but there's a roof over us. <laughs> yes. So at least we'll be dry <laughs> and in the shade. Yes. I'm going to be spending some time out here this weekend with a cocktail. Mm -hmm. Day or night. Yeah. Because it, it almost feels done. <laughs> yeah. I think just because it's the roof. like. I think so. Like, I know we need to go and get stucco on it and put the tongue and groove, put the roof on, but... For now, it kind of feels done. Like yeah. at least we can sit here and be in the shade. And if it's raining, we're not getting rained on. But yes, I love this view. I love how it looks. It's a good spot. And I think I'm going to actually take time to book a massage tomorrow and try to get some stress out of my shoulders, which is causing me to have a headache right now. So the, the smart thing is, is even though my life is chaotic, I do still try to take care of myself whether that be get my workout in, get a massage, do something for me to try to take care of myself so that I can take care of Lamar. So I've learned that this past year, because you got to remember it was about a year ago that we did two surgeries back to back in two different days. And so we're hoping that this surgery is the final surgery and maybe this surgery is going to be what relieves those nerves and bring helps bring those nerves back to life that we've been dealing with this past year that has caused him all these problems so I've learned a lot this year I've learned a lot about how important it is to take care of myself even when everything else around me is chaotic and a mess I still have to remember stop take care of yourself too Teresa you are as important as everybody else is so, ah, okay, let's get back inside, see what else is going on. <laughs> Here comes another beam. Another beam, 24 foot beam. So we're getting this beam installed and then we only have one more beam to go and we are done with this area and they can start tiling the floor. And then sheetrocking. Yay! Yeah. So guys, just a little update on my husband. Uh, I just got back from the hospital and uh, this is day, well, let's see, he has Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday night was his first night, mm -hmm. but well, not really, but yeah. And then last night. So this is going to be his third night um, in ICU. They're keeping him in ICU because of his blood disorder. Uh, he likes to bleed. And so um, he doesn't clot. So they're trying to keep him in ICU to be more aware of the bleeding. They can control it better if they put him out on the regular floor. Sometimes they don't check on him for four hours. Or, you know, In ICU, they're checking on you every hour on the hour. So anyways, that's just an update, guys. Um, we thought he would, he would maybe come home Saturday, which is tomorrow. But no, he's mm. going to spend the weekend in ICU in the hospital, which is a good place to be. 
So just wanted to give you guys an update. Keep him in his in, in your prayers, please. Um, he's frustrated. He's in pain. This is going to be a long battle for him because they, they put six screws in his back. So um, he's got 20-some staples in his back. You know, the older you get, <laughs> the grumpier you get. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, fabulous Friday, Fashion Friday, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're, we're here. We're still having fun. I'm going to get a massage tomorrow and deal with the stress. There you go. So, you know, it is what it is. So, hopefully, you guys are going to still be with us next week because we're going to announce some fun stuff next week. A lot is oh, going on next no. week. Get ready, get mm, ready, get mm, ready. Mm. Mm. Yes. So, have a great weekend, guys. Be safe. And until next time, bye-bye.